Hey y'all, I'm back with my tip and final lab. So sad. Also, I added some gloves. My mom had extra gloves, so I got some. So first I'm gonna start off with my filter paper and scissors, and it says that I'm going to cut it 1.5 inches in width. So I'll come back. So now that I've got my strip of filter paper here, it says to fold it in half lengthwise. And then I'm going to fold it again. So now I've added my goggles and I already had gloves on and I'm going to go in with my filter paper and I'm actually going to create kind of a circular bridge in the bottom. All right. Oh, might have to come back. So now that I've got my filter paper into my cup, I'm going in with potassium chloride and I'm going to cover my filter paper completely. So I'm just gonna go in and just drip, keep dripping until it is completely covered. Okay, so now that that is soaking up, I've read a little bit ahead and it says that I'm going to take two glass beakers and it says that I'm going in with my zinc sulfate and let me see, zinc sulfate and then copper sulfate in this one and i'm going to be adding 45 milliliters of each so that's about half the bottle so i'll be back so i have a strip of my zinc here it's a fresh um piece and it says that i'm going to put it into my copper solution for five seconds one two three four five so it says to now place it on a paper towel so now after that i'm going to pick up my fresh piece of copper and i'm going to place it into my zinc sulfate for five seconds two three four five and i'm going to also lay it next to my zinc so if you take a look at the zinc here it has changed to a dark black color and then my copper had no change at all i've now gotten my voltmeter set up i've gotten my um two ports in and i've gotten my alligator clips in and ready to go and i'm now about to remove my salt bridge from my solution i'm going to go ahead and undo it here and I'm going to place it like a bridge. So I've got a piece of zinc here, it's a fresh piece, and I'm going to clip it onto one of my little jumper cables. Now I'm going in with my fresh piece of copper and I'm also going to connect it to a jumper cable. So I have placed my copper jumper cable in with my copper sulfate. As you can see, it's not touching the salt bridge and it is not touching the solution, the jumper cable. Now I'm gonna go in with this jumper cable and I'm going to place it off to the side. I'm gonna try to get it not to touch the salt bridge. I might have to push her over a little. All right, so this is my setup here, how I have it now, and we're going to cut it on. If it is positive, we are going to keep it, and it is done right. If it's negative, we are going to try and switch the jumper cables out. So let's see. And we're positive. So what the instructions are saying to do is let this sit for five minutes. Yes, five minutes for the reading to stabilize. And then we'll come back. Okay, so I'm back after five minutes and it is jumping from eight to nine. So I'm just gonna put eight. Okay, I'm back after 15 minutes and let's see what we got. We've got nine. I'm back after 30 minutes and it's still on 1.09. I'm back after 45 minutes and it is at 1.09. Okay, we are back again and I'm getting 1.11 after 60 so minutes. So I am back and I accidentally missed out on 60, it was 1.10. But now, as you see, it's still at 1.10. So, oh, mm -hmm. it switched to 1.09. So that means that 75 was 1.10 and so was, so was 90. 
So, as you can see, we had 109 here, and that was for minute, or 105 minutes. So, I got 109 for 120 again. So, as you can see, I just got it on 110, and that is for 135. So, uh, my final time is 110. I'm going to now start my cleanup process. I've uploaded a picture of my gallatin cell with my name and date on a piece of paper, along with my strips over here on the paper towel. And I'm so sad that this is my last lab, but I hope everyone had a great semester.